Hi, welcome to my Renee U Mentry on my first, um, well, my first year being 50. Does that sound right? I just turned 50. So it's uh, what it's like to turn 50, and it's the year of discovery, and it's, um, you know, I kind of woke up, <coughs> excuse me, I woke up in this life that wasn't quite mine, and now, like, what do I do with it? How do I make this work? That's where I'm at. And I know a lot of people are with me on this because I talk to a lot of women all the time and I'm like, when I say, shit, I woke up in someone else's life, they, they laugh and they like, yeah, I know, I know. And they may not feel it. The, we all feel it a little differently. All of the women who feel this way feel a little differently about it, but it's definitely a shared it's definitely a shared experience that we're having. And um, this year, I'm going to be talking about a lot of those shared experiences. Um, and what today, I wanted to touch on how we forget, uh, how we forget to love, how we forget um, to remember our purpose, and When we forget why we're here, then we just start spinning our wheels. And I think that's what happened to me, is I had this big idea about, you know, in high school when I wrote the essay on what I wanted to be when I grew up was not this. So I think somewhere along the line, or lots of somewheres along the line, there were forks in the road, and I <laughs> I'm taking the friggin wrong fork you know and it it's brought me to here so I've had all these lessons in my life and now I get to do something with them and I, 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 I don't I think a lot of people a lot of people feel the same way and so that's what this video series is about and I keep talking about what this Renee Umentry is all about because it kind of takes on, it becomes more and more clear the more and more videos I do on why I'm here and why I'm doing this. And um, yeah, so that's, that's it. So uh, we need to remember our purpose and we need to remember how to love and we need to remember how to give without expectation that anything's going to come back, right? Just give. And we need, and this is the hardest one for most people, is we need to receive without feeling like we need to repay that back, right? Backsies are, you know... That's what we call them in this house, backsies. Um, she hit me first, so I hit her. Or, you know, he said it first, or, you know, no, I didn't, yes, I did, no, I didn't, yes, I did. Which goes on until my head literally spins off my body. It's like I'm a dingo. My head just spins off. Um, or that girl from The Exorcist, whoever, whatever that one is. Um, yeah, that's me. Yeah, Linda Blair. It's all coming back to me now. Um, so, okay, I kind of play this. Do you remember, like, the fortune cookies, how, like, you end it with, in bed, you know, your life will be wonderful, and then you add in bed, and everybody has a big chuckle, and ha, ha, ha. Well, what if we ended every sentence with, in love? So, I will empty the dishwasher in love, with love, however you want to put it, whatever makes sense to you. Um, and I started doing this. I started doing this practice, and when I would feel myself getting really pissy, I would do that because I am not that. I am love. I am frigging love. But life pisses me off. How can that happen? So I'm constantly going back and I think I'm this is another video it's not 
how often you fall off the wagon, it's how quickly you get back on. So when I'm feeling really, if I can turn that around and, and whatever sentence with, in love, with love, then that changes my entire mindset. And I go back to being the loving person that I wanted to be, or I want to be, that that we should kind of all aspire to, I would think, but not everybody's on board with that because it's a whole lot hell it's a whole hell of a lot easier to be cranky and pissy and negative and nasty than it is to make yourself vulnerable and meet situations with love. And again, I am not talking about uh, people disrespecting you, dishonoring you, being shitheads. Uh, that is not what this is about. This is about you. It's about me. It's not about you. It's about me and you. It's a shared wisdom. So it's about us. It's about us being love trying to be love in every moment and when we're not to get back to being love in every moment and when we are love our spirit sort of elevates and things become easier and we get in the flow and we see the divine in things and we see the grace in things and we see the love in things and our life becomes a prayer of gratitude. Yeah. So that's our goal. That's our goal, is to live our life as a prayer in gratitude for all of the amazingly beautiful, wonderful things we have in our life. That includes the shitty things. It does. It absolutely includes the shitty things. Because there's a balance, right? There's a balance. Not every day is going to be you know, I'm not mixing the colors for rainbows every day and feeding the unicorns. I am not doing that, right? Some days it's, you know, it's not that. It's all the other stuff. It's being stuck in a car driving around circles where I live, picking up, dropping off, grocery shopping, returning something, you know, dry cleaning. You know, it's just, it's never ending, right? So, um... It's just to meet that with love. And I'll, I'll end it here. So that's, that's it. Be love. End every sentence with love.